How's it going, guys? It's Rad. So, yeah, raw review from last night. I didn't watch it because of work, but uh, from what I watched, from the highlights, and from what I read, I'll try and analyze it the best I can. So, yeah, of course, it's the Superstar Shake-Up Week, which means we're going to have stars from SmackDown going to Raw and stars from Raw going to SmackDown. So, Raw starts off with its first major shake-up, which is United States Champion Jinder Mahal is now on Raw. Of course, Jinder Mahal saying that Raw will be the new home of the Mother Day Maharaja. It's like, well, the good news is at least Jinder Mahal could go ruin Raw now. And SmackDown can actually be good as long as Boring Fuckface and Fuckboy Buckethead are off that show. But then we find out that Kurt Angle took exception to what Jinder Mahal said. And then announced that Jinder Mahal would have an impromptu U.S. title defense against a mysterious challenger. Which turned out to be Jeff Hardy. So the match itself, it was boring as hell. Match ending, Jeff Hardy would fight off interference from that pussy ass to Neil Singh. Then Jeff Hardy would hit the twisted feet on Jinder Mahal and then the Swanton Bomb. And Jeff Hardy gets the three count for the win. And now Jeff Hardy is your new United States champion. And it's like, wow, that was quick. Only two weeks of hell with Jinder as U.S. champion. He already drops the belt. Thank God, maybe keep that belt away from him. Put Jinder's ass back in the jobber division where he rightfully fucking belongs. Next up, we get another shakeup. We get a tech. We get Sasha Banks versus Bailey. Boring ass match. I don't give a fuck because this match, I don't care about either of them. They both suck. Match ending though. The Riot Squad, Ruby Riot, Sarah Logan, and Liv Morgan come out and attack. Bailey and Sasha Banks forcing the DQ. And the both of them would destroy Bailey and Sasha Banks, leave them in the ring. Next up, we get a segment. We get Miz TV. Miz, T Miz of course, say, trying to guarantee that his future on Raw will remain the same. And they also revealed that his special guests were Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, who went to Stephanie McMahon and overruled Kurt Angle's decision. So now Kevin and Sami Zayn are part of Monday Night Raw. And when Miz thought he was safe, Kurt Angle then comes out and says that he Miz that Kurt struck a deal with Shane McMahon and Paige to have Daniel, I mean to have Miz traded to SmackDown in exchange for a mysterious for exchange for a mysterious opponent. And then told Miz that his final hurrah will be in a 10-man tag team match. With the Miz teaming with Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, the Miz Taraj. Against Seth Rollins, the Intercontinental Champion. Finn Balor, Braun Strowman, Bobby Lashley. And, a mysterious, and the person that, that Raw gets in exchange for the Miz. We'll f I'll tell you that in a little bit. Next up, we get the tag team match. Woken, Matt Hardy, and Bray Wyatt versus The Revival. The winner faces Sheamus and Cesaro for the Raw Tag Team titles at the Greatest Rumble House Show in Saudi Arabia. In the back and forth match in the end. In the end, Matt Hardy hits the sister Abigail and Scott Dawson. Matt Hardy hits the twist of fate on... Dash Wilder, they they get the three count for the win. So at the Grace Rumble event, it will be Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt versus Sheamus and Cesaro for the Raw Tag Titles. Next up, we get a women's match. We get Ember Moon versus Mickey James. Back and forth in the end, Ember Moon hits the Eclipse, gets the three count for the win. Enough said. Boring match. Next up, we get a tag team match. We get the Authors of Pain, Akeem and Razor versus yeah, versus Heat Slater and Rhino rematch of last week. In the end, it was about the same as last week. Authors of Pain win easily, so wash, rinse, repeat. Next up, we get Titus Worldwide in the ring. Of course, trying to promote themselves. In case they get moved. Then Dolph Ziggler comes out. Dolph Ziggler, of course, now being the next victim of the Superstar Shakeup. So far, I don't think any jobbers have been traded so far. Unless you count gender as one. 
And then, of course, as Dolph Sager goes to attack Titus Worldwide, Drew McIntyre comes in from the crowd from NXT. And then the both of them lay waste to Titus Worldwide. Sigler hitting the super kick and the zigzag. And McIntyre hitting the Claymore drop kick. So, Drew McIntyre, welcome back to the main roster. Now, hopefully you can get a fucking world title this time and don't waste his fucking career. Next up, we get another segment. We get boring fuckface. Roman Reigns comes out. Roman Reigns. I'm at least here this week, unlike Brock Lesnar. Roman Reigns. I will beat Brock Lesnar and become Universal Champion. Roman Reigns. I'm still a big dummy. Roman Reigns. This is my yard now. Roman Reigns. I will put the belt back on a full-timer. Roman Reigns. Then I will beat Samoa Joe to retain title with Backlash. Roman Reigns. Uh, huh, huh. There's still some conspiracy against me. Then Samoa Joe comes out. Samoa Joe's vowing to have mercy on Roman Reigns at Backlash. But Joe vows that whether Roman's champion or not, Joe will beat Roman at Backlash and become the next Universal Champion. So that's where we are there. Finally, we get to our main event. The main event, the 10 Mad Tag Team Match. Miz, Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, and Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel in the Miz Taraj against Intercontinental Champion Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, Braun Strowman, Bobby Lashley, and the person that comes to Raw in exchange for the Miz is Bobby Roode. So yeah, Bobby Roode is now on Raw. Back and forth match. Match ending when the Miz went to go for a tag for either Bo Dallas or Curtis Axel. Both of them would jump off the ramp, st ramp, leaving Miz to fend for himself. Braun Strowman would hit a running power slam on the Miz. And gets the three count for the win. So Miz's final night on Raw is a loss. But I think we all know why Miz is going. Because someone got cleared. Now, and we all want to see a certain match. I think it involves a certain yes man. But I, but overall, to end Raw, decent episode. 4 out of 10. Or 4 out of 10 episode. But I think we all know what the U.S. title going to Raw. I think we all know what that means for Seth Rollins in the Intercontinental title. I think we all know what's going to happen to him. On, happen to him. We're going to have to see it on Tuesday. But yeah, that's all I got to say for Raw. A very quick review. Not much happened. It was a mess show. Mainly just a lot of trades, a lot of shakeups. But yeah. Sadly, the New Day didn't get separated. I honestly want to see this New Day separate because, you know, you separate a lot of teams like Enzo and Cass and etc., etc. And yet we still have the fucking New Day together. Like, haven't they rode the wave long enough? Like, I think, I think Big E should get a fucking singles push. Like, come on. But yeah, I think I'm done with this review. Very short one. But yeah, that's all I gotta say. Hope everyone has a great day, and yeah. Peace out. Fuck Roman Reigns.